Did you expect that in this series Panathinaikos would be up to one? Uh, no, honestly not. But you know, you have to remember too that Barcelona had you know a couple of injuries. You know, mostly losing Pete Michael. I think it was you know a very big loss for them because he was almost the most important player. You know, for the team, so that's a big thing. And you know, Navarro haven't been so healthy, and then now they cannot play. You know, all of a sudden in the Euro League, it's you know, it's very tough. You know, because now they have to play Abrines, so it's not easy. So I mean, I did not expect, but you know, the Barcelona is not the fully Barcelona. You know. My other question is that you were in the same position in 2011. Yes. Back then, uh, you were surprised by Panathinaikos. You didn't expect them to be so tough, especially in Barcelona. Uh, not so tough, I don't think so. I mean, I think that, that game, we, we lost it because the ref let them really play. You know, I remember a role that the guy really grabbed me, you know, and the referee didn't call it. So I think that second game, I mean, I don't want to be, you know, nothing, but we lost it because, you know, I think the, the ref didn't call as well. But hey, you know, sometimes it happened. You know, so we went to to fight and we could not, we were not able, you know, to win another game. We were out, so you know, I mean, it's always hard to win in Athens, you know, and something you have to expect. But you know, but is always a big team, you know. I saw you there. They used to be in this situation, and you know, when you played facing not only Panathinaikos but also 20,000 fans, it is really difficult to play against it, or you get used to it. No, no, no. It does it have an influence? No, I think I I rather play in front of 20,000 than train in front of 10,000. You know, so for me, honestly, it's 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 fun. You know, you have to enjoy it. You know, the only bad thing is that they're throwing stuff on the court. You know, that should not happen. But other than that, you know, I mean, they're cheering, so we are both in the same court. We listening to the same thing, so. I, I like it, you know, and it's something very challenging and very interesting for me. We can say that the guy that replaced you is Ante Tomic. What do you think about him? He had an amazing season, you know. He he played really well. I mean, so far, you know. So I think he was a good signing for Barcelona, and you know, I think he did the job because he was almost the best player of them, both competition. He even won, I think, Euro League Player of the Month. So I think it's you know, it's a very good signing for Barcelona. Plus, he's a young player, so he's going to develop. Was it a mistake of Real letting him go to Barcelona? Uh, difficult to say, you know. I'm not the general manager, <laughs> so. But you know, uh, the future will tell. You know, Madrid is now in the final four. Barcelona is not there, so it's it's very hard. You know, I you know every team made the move. You know, thinking that you know it's the best for them, and you have to respect that. So uh, this season, can uh, Galata go between FS and uh, uh, Fener and take the championship? Uh, it's very hard to say. You know, I mean, in this competition, you name right now the three best teams. I could even add Bambit, you know, and it's very hard, you know. So far, we are doing very well, you know. We are in the first position, and I think it's a big advantage, you know, to be able to to finish first because we have home court advantage. It's very important in Turkey, so we will try our best, you know. It's not going to be easy, but you know, we showed we can beat FS. We beat them three times. We beat uh, uh, what is his name, um, uh, Fener two times, you know. So so far, we are we are taking the upper hand over these two teams. And I think you know if we stay healthy and keep playing like this, we we have our chance.